Well, welcome to your Daily Dose. I hope that you are doing well. Um, one of the things we're talking about with the ladies in the Grove is we're talking about emotional health and spiritual health. Now, guys, before you actually turn this off and decide that this isn't about you, our emotional health and spiritual health really require balance and it requires maintenance. And so one of the things we landed on in the Grove was Psalm 57. And so I just want to read Psalm 57. So if you want to open your Bible, um, I want to talk about emotional and spiritual health and the maintenance that it requires. So here's what Psalm 57 says. Have mercy on me, my God, have mercy on me. For in you, I take refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God most high, to God who vindicates me. He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends forth his love and his faithfulness. I'm in the midst of lions. I'm forced to dwell among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp as swords. Doesn't that just sound just like our world right now? Verse 5, be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over the earth. They spread their net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. Verse 7, my heart, O God, is steadfast. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake my soul, awake harp and lyre, I will awake in the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching the, to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over the earth. A couple of things when reading this. Number one, there's an incredible image of, um, in verse one, I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. When we're talking about emotional, spiritual health, we don't bring all of our stuff under God's wings. We leave all of our stuff out and God shelters us from our stuff. Super important to remember so that when we draw near to God, we're able to draw near without all of our stuff because he's gonna protect us. And then verse seven, my heart, O oh God, is steadfast. My heart is steadfast. Now, if we look at that word, that word is loyalty, faithful, committed, devoted, dedicated, dependable, reliable, steady, and true. This word requires us to take action in balance. This is part of our maintenance. We are depending on God. We are reliable on God, and we are dedicated to God. It's very important that we learn how to maintain and be steadfast in our heart so that we can fall under God. So to walk out being healthy emotionally and spiritually means that we need to be committed and loyal in maintaining our health and fall under the shadow of his wings. I hope today you go back and read this and understand that your heart can be steadfast even in the midst of lions, even in the midst of all of this drama that's going on. Be steadfast in your heart and be dedicated to God. Fall under his wings and take refuge. Have a great day.